Okay, so the next big project on SP Basic is uh, redoing the master head. I mean, when we bought the boat, do you remember the master head? Yeah. The master head was really disgusting. It was unfinished when we purchased it, and it just it didn't work. There was a head that was right in the middle of the room. Um, the floor was uneven. Always, always fun to use because there was no door yeah. on the head. We never used it. I know. And then, yeah, you had the shower standing there. So the floors were uneven to accommodate the water down to the sump system. Then there was a sink that was bolted to the wall with a small countertop. Um, you can see all the underside of the sink, the plumbing. Uh, and no storage. No light. No, no storage. storage. Yeah, so we needed to just uh, update that and make it what we want. So rather than try to modify an existing head we opted to just gut it down strip everything out and redesign it redesign and just start fresh yeah. so stay tuned and you'll see how that whole project turned out should be fun should be fun <laughs> it, was, it was fun so we stripped the roof yeah. down to nothing had to get everything out of there get all the weight out of there and just yeah. start over and then we proceed to insulate the room um, it's great because um, we didn't want it to be hollow sounding. Great insulation for heat, for cool, um, for yeah. sound. Yeah, and it just makes the room feel better. Always insulate anywhere you can. Um, after we insulated, I had to skin over the insulation and all any other voids in the in the room with an ultralight marine grade poplar plywood. I used a polyurethane adhesive to adhere to the wall, and I'm not too worried about it. Uh, because I'm going to be glassing over uh, all the surfaces with wet system epoxy and glass cloth and you'll see that coming up. Okay, so the next step in this project was to work on the storage lockers. I ended up subdividing that wall space into three separate spaces and each of those would have multiple shelves on it. So to get the shelves on without any fasteners, I had to uh, put little stilts up, set the shelf in place, and epoxy it in place. It worked out pretty, pretty good. Once the first shelves fired off, I was able to move the stilts on top of that shelf to get the second shelf in, and just work my way through the room that way. Okay, the next step is to take these poplar panels, and uh, I want to sweep a radius into the edges here so that when I put the glass cloth down, it, uh, it, it looks seamless. I'm gonna take West System Epoxy. I'm gonna use a 205 hardener. With a 406 silica. It's a colloidal filler we use for a uh, fairing compound. Okay, so I need some epoxy. Emma? Looks perfect, thank you. So Emma makes up some epoxy for me. Got a, a consistency of a like thick peanut butter. Use a one inch craft stick. Use a one inch radius. Take your used gift cards. Let's break it clean. And there we go. After the shelves were all in, I had to put a self edge on and the self edge was for two reasons it actually stiffens the front edge of the shelf and I have a little stainless detail that goes on the front of each shelf gives me something to attach it to I built the face frame outside of the room and shaped it and just attached it all as one unit and it worked out pretty pretty slick that way are you gonna help me at all? 
tell me how, what do you think we should do in the master head here? How should we design it? The upper cabinetry is roughed in and now it's time for the removal of the subfloor which Teal needs to grind down to the bare hull so then we can go ahead and install the new fresh water tank. Um, that is a very messy job and I am just so happy that we only have one face mask. So after the tank was secured, we shaped in a three-quarter sheet of honeycomb composite to fit the floor. It was epoxied to the hull and glass cloth was layered for strength. The hardest part about this whole project was making sure that when I laid the floor down that it planed out with the floor on either side. But everything went as planned and happy with the outcome. Now that the floor is nice and flat, it gives us a good work surface so we could start laying glass cloth and epoxying the rest of the room. I did not realize how difficult it would be to glass overhead. Sure, it sounds simple enough, but when you're holding the cloth and trying to roll epoxy onto it without dripping onto your hair and clothes, let's just say gravity was not our friend. We used a continuous six ounce fiberglass cloth that was 40 inches wide and 60 inches in length. We love using this particular ounce because it wraps and conforms very easily to the irregular shapes and angles of SV Basic. If we needed more strength, we would just add more layers. We came up with a plan to use supports to help hold up the cloth in place while we applied the resin. Lucky thing because I could barely touch the ceiling. Overall, it turned out great and I only had to cut out a few chunks of my hair to get the epoxy out. Now that the ceiling was done, Teal was able to finish the rest of the glasswork by himself.
So while the epoxy was curing over the past few days, I've been uh, roughing in the cabinetry in the boat workshop. I test fit them, scribed them to the walls, make sure they fit perfect before applying the final skins. Thanks for watching this episode of Onboard Lifestyle, and remember to leave a like and be sure to subscribe. Tune in next week when we finish our master hit. See you then!